even finish the job. Please sign and give me money saying Marcus is at fault. Thank you, have a nice day. Uh, hi, Marcus is fault. Hi. Next time I'll play with five minutes, though, I'm gonna stretch out that content for the next episode. I mean, if you ran in the game, it's gonna take like 14 hours. Yeah, but legitimately, we just need to, like, destroy it. It's like he's I think that's actively is that all rather have close to. He's only close to you. He's only like next to you. Which is fine by me because I'm across the ocean. I know, but he's working on his for this Are they a science victory? New frontiers of discovery expand our understanding. Actually, I suppose once I get bombers, I could just go and bomb his spaceport. <laughs> Mysteries long you're, you're tolerated to. are closer than ever to revealing their deepest secrets beyond what followers? we can easily see. Holy crap, I did. You will choose how to you use this knowledge thank you. and push thank back you the greatest powers. darkness we have yet thank faced. So keys, All people will tremble uh, with fear and respect for you, it. great warrior Queen Tamiris. For it is from the back of your stallion that you shall Thursday. look upon and lead the side of the people. Say, Marcus, it's Monday, Tuesday, Great epics Wednesday, will be told <laughs> of the horse warriors so they, uh, that ride anyway, forth from the step really and at the front line of every battle. They God, will this guy's talking while I'm talking. Shut up. Ride on, fierce queen. Except my guy fish. And may your friends be true. Really just as your enemies I have a goddamn paragraph. Wait, I have two paragraphs, but they're like, you know. Short. Yeah, like fifth grader paragraphs, where it's like technically oh. it's five sentences. My, totally mine are like six each. I don't, I'm not, I'm not How actually much trying to this to take that. Um, I have a half. I still hear him talking. There we go. I heard him talking through your mic. <laughs> I'm in the game. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? I'm still loading in, so you know. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh, that's right, I'm just over in the middle. Yep. Okay. I think I spam through all of these. He spammed I guess this will, this allows me to actually get home my, like, links out. Yeah, because you've looked up. It sounded like you guys. Series. Yeah. And so basically, what ended up happening during the last session was uh, so uh, Gilbert ran into the cave, and thankfully Austin was nice enough to scale back the character bits, and there's only three players there. But, uh, but technically, four, I was an NPC in the character. Yeah. Who almost died but didn't. So I was gonna tell you after the fact, but he did go down at one point, but immediately rolled the nat 20 and got back up on the death saving throw. Because <laughs> when you roll a nat 20, you regain one hit point instead of just stabilizing. Yeah. Yep. So he basically he just so he got smacked, got... you know, backhand smacked <laughs> up against the wall, gets back up and then smacks the guy back. <laughs> But no, it so was a found our wives. Yeah. Um, it was? Yeah, your character and then Gilbert's character found their spouses. But I guess apparently, okay, for context to anyone who is watching this, um, the basically the village, uh, some of the other characters in the party lived that was attacked while they were away. The village people fled to this town, not to have this cave. The cave is actually full of goblins. Two thirds of the town got slaughtered, etc., and the remaining third got rescued. Yep. I had nothing of value was lost except for my son. Yeah, which which I'm so apparently sad about the oldest surviving kids got sold to uh, some hags. 
Oh, come on! It'd probably be corrupted in the witches and hags. Oh, probably, yeah, they're probably... It's, that's how it actually works, is they just corrupt children. Wait, seriously? <laughs> yes, that's how hags work in d, &D. My god! It's not like Skyrim hags? I, I still oh, get Skyrim hag hags. Like, they, they're just there, and that's all I know about them. <laughs> I mean, so technically, I mean, they are technically witches, um, and they also, uh, they're the reason the companions were able to turn into werewolves. Yeah, but that's literally all I got. <laughs> I could, I didn't know this any other lore with it, lore tidbits. I mean, I mean, there, there's a couple things, but it's, like, super, like, hidden in that they're like, yes, we're, like, yes, the hags are there to fight, or there to, like, for magic uses and whatnot. Uh, that's why you see them around, like, magic users a lot more. Like, dark arts magic. Yeah. They, uh, force worn. Help people. But, I, I, I like Skyrim. I think if it had the, uh, the, uh, I know it's a huge game. Oh, it's a game. Right. But I, I wish the game had, uh, the ability to, like, yeah, sure, like, you kill, Kind of like Outer Worlds, where like if you kill a certain character, it switches what happens. And, like that little part that you kill has repercussions throughout the entire game. Oh, uh, most part. God, I love that game. I'm, I'm gonna play it again. So. Which game? Uh, Outer Worlds. Oh yeah, I've been. I I meant to play that one. I never got around to it. I say there's a few it's, games I meant to play, like um. Uh, was it called Greefall? Yeah, I think that was the name of it, Greefall. I meant to play that one, but I never got around to yeah. it. Yeah. Alright. I'm start taking Seal Aerosol as my own. Keep recruiting these great people, I have, like, nowhere to actually use them. <laughs> I'm just taking them so right. someone else can use them. I know, right? Um, well, I mean, that's the thing, though, is that, so, like, Outer Worlds, when I, when I played it the first time, when I didn't stream it, when I went for my first playthrough, uh, I decided to just, like, whatever I could pick up, I picked up. If I was, if I was encumbered, I would walk, so I would, like, you know how you just got me slow walk? Oh, yeah. You can do the same thing. In, uh, in Outer Worlds, uh, and so I played the entire game, never selling any items except for the junk. Uh, like if I had if I had armor that was pretty badly damaged, I'd wear it till it broke, sell the junk pieces, the remains. I'd never repaired a weapon. I never did that stuff. So like in a way, it like made it like super like yeah you can repair it, whatever. But I never decided to repair anything because I didn't find that to be. Like, okay, I found a really good weapon. I used it for the entire game. I never try out any of the other weapons. I never have to struggle with the weapons I have. Um, so that's what I did. I basically struggled with whatever the game gave me, I would use until it broke, and then I would struggle with the next item. If I was trying, if I was swarmed by enemies, I would literally, I kept dying over and over. Like it took, like there's one single game that took me about a week to do, where I just continuously kept dying because I couldn't run away, but I kept like saving after I killed one enemy, go back, if I died, and then I'd try a different approach. Like I'd still go through the same way I, went, I had to go, but if I was with a bunch of enemies, I'd try to kill one, save, and then die at the next person, go back, do that part again, kill that other guy, save, and then repeat the process. So it took me like a long time to do it. Um, and I only failed one quest, and that was because the game didn't... It was like a weird, like, choose a faction part thing, but, like, the option for, like, choosing which faction wasn't clear. So oh, I chose... Yeah. I, like, I pissed off both factions instead of actually doing some else. Ooh, my alliance is inspired. That's no point. Oh. Also, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day. Um... I was just rambling on about why I like. Uh, well, you have the chance. You're wasting your time. I, 
But now I was about to say Waterworld, and then I was about to say Westworld. Outer Worlds. <laughs> I don't think Waterworld exists anymore in Arizona. No, 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 no. It, it got bought by Wet and Wild, and the Wet and Wild got bought by uh, Six Flags. So it's called like Wet and Mountain or whatever. So it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist anymore, correct. By the way, I was playing a single player game, and uh, Spain, when you defeat him, it's like actually a really sad like defeat message. Because he's just like, my kingdom, my lands, God, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> you know how he has that like little uh, fencing lance? He's like slowly backing away, he just lets it fall out of his hands as he just crumbles, basically. <laughs> like, it's actually oh, really sad to defeat him. What? No, like, that's really what happens. That's so sad. Yeah, that's his defeat message. He's just like, my lands, my kingdom, God, why have you forsaken me? Mm. Poor guy. I'm literally just throwing all of my spies in the room. We can no more have exact... I discovered theology, whatever that means. Okay, what assignments can you pick? Sure, we'll attempt to disrupt the rocket tree. Blow up the. I was gonna say missile, but it's not a missile, it's a rocket. Fire my soul. Fire the my soul. Lord. Lord. I don't get what you're doing. A lord. No. Lord of the rain. Lord of the Wangs. Lord of the Wangs. And Game of Thrones ending 8 sucked, except for the... The yes, fight scene that you couldn't I see just thought the dark. I never got around to You need to watch... I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. You only need to watch the, the episode before the White Walker attack and the episode after the White Walker attack. After <laughs> Not that, the White Walker attack. Cease. <laughs> no, you can, no, 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 I'm saying you watch those three episodes and then cease. No cease. mas. No mas. I mean, you could watch the beginning of season eight. It's not that good. There's only like two funny lines in the whole thing, with uh, which is like the whole band getting back together, which is fucking. I love Torment so much. He's fucking funny, cause he's like walk there. Him and and uh, the guy with the flame sword are walking around uh, this one castle uh, after it's been attacked by White Walkers and all the bodies are gone, or like all like there's a lot of dead bodies, but none of them are like have been risen from the dead or whatever, which is kind of odd. Um, or I think they have actually moved nobody around. But they're walking through the castle exploring it, and it's kind of sad because there was a kid, and he was the lord of the house because the rest of his family is dead. So he's the only one remaining, he was the only one that remained, and he was sent to go back to his people, get his people, and come back to Winterfell. He unfortunately never got to, uh, because they find him on, you know that weird spiral symbol that they had? in the show. You think so? Um, so yeah, he was pinned in the center of that thing, and then he, his eyes turned blue. And then, so, hit, uh, Tormund and the other guy, they literally run for their lives, even though nobody's chasing them. Uh, out there. Uh, the, and then, like, they run into, like, the, the Night's Watch people, who are, like, the only ones left. And, uh, the guy's like, he's like, oh, there's a White Walker, he has blue eyes. And then Tormund's like, I've always had blue eyes. And they just pause and stare at each other. And Tormund's like, dude, the fuck face. It's like, <laughs> they, 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 his face like, it's me, you know, the guy. That was fucking funny. Like, it, that that's like the one part. I mean, his character also made me laugh. But like, that part really got me. He's like, I've always had blue eyes. Stares at him and turns with blue eyes. Just in case, I doubt all of them can fail. I just sent three spies on the same mission to disrupt rocket tree. Oh my god, in Rome? <laughs> yeah, so I wonder well, the thing is, the thing, is the thing is, though, we need to hurry and get Rome before he launches a nuke. But, I mean, he Granted, does nuclear when... fusion. Because I stole it from him. Granted, once he does launch the nuke, 
it will be the unless you can launch multiple nukes in this game, which I think we're talking about you can. It's one of those things where like he has like either a missile style to launch it out of, which is possible because I'm next to him. Or like he could build a nuclear submarine or a missile carrier and then carry it over that way. That's not good. I wish you could. Like he can't just shoot it anywhere in the world. He just he sails over to me and blows me up just for no reason. Seems accurate. Kind of hoping the nuke, if he has multiple nukes, that they, he launches all of them. That one person. It's not even us. Fire everything, it's one guy. I said fire! Oh yeah. <laughs> Star Wars meme. More! More! Rise of shit. I'll be honest, the I completely shit. forgot the 8 movie. Like, I really don't remember much of it. Like, I actually have to try just... focusing to remember it. Wait, that's the one we went to see together, right? <laughs> yeah, I no. think, uh, no, it was the one before that. was that. 9. Oh, that was 9. 9 was okay. Like, I'm willing to say 9 was okay. Given was okay. what I had to build off of. For 7 me. was good. I liked 7. I mean, I didn't, I didn't like it. I basically it, like copied... It. The original for it. Yeah, it was just, it was just, yeah, it was just a new hope. That's all it was. A new which hope I with, uh, <laughs> which I was okay with because that had a better plot than the other ones. Which is sad because it was just a redo of the same plot. In a way, though, I felt it was a necessary redo just to introduce a like, new generation Star Wars people. That's like how yeah, I it think... did it back in the day. Yeah. But I, I just miss, um, I really miss, what's his name? Cade 6? Yes, I do. Except, oh, that's the thing, no. I was, so when I was loading into, hey, cat, you better not scratch my chair. Yeah, yeah, so I Um. <laughs> Giving us some big signals there. Yeah. That's just, she loves to scratch my new chair. And I don't want her to do it anymore. Oh, you mean this chair dicks and claws? Yeah. Oh, um, what was I saying? Uh, K6. Oh, yeah. So they had a story for K6. They just came out with the new DLC. And they're also going, you're also going into the XO. That's the only reason I want to play the game. Is to get into that EXO area. Just to learn more about the EXOs. That's like the entire reason I wanted to play Destiny in the first place. That EXO is my favorite class. Nay. Well, the rocketry thing. Must have done something, cause... I pissed off, uh, I pissed off Spain and uh, the Viking people. That, that means I'm up there. Oh well. I didn't, I didn't even expand my area though, and they got pissed at me. I didn't expand anywhere. So that didn't make any sense. Um... But yeah, so like it was it was sad because like Cade Six is talking and he's doing his jokes in his book in the lore book and stuff, but he's also like like this is going like he goes he goes, honestly, like if you guys make a seven he goes, Don't because seven for me is unlucky and blah blah blah. He goes, But if you do make a seven, make him read this book because what I based off my my characters, my personality, all that stuff is based off of what what the fifth version of me wrote, and what the, the fourth version of me wrote, and the third, and the second, and the first one, and then the original guy who was human. Um, oh, well, I see. So it's kind of like the person, like the human scientist, went and then made the EXO, and then just kept reiterating. Well, so, so basically how it worked. I didn't explain very well. So, for example, the first, the original human guy, 
was supposedly a good guy is what they was what the storybook says. He was a good dude. I'm pretty sure they're Nate they're basing it off of Nathan Fillion like like Buck or something. Mm-hmm. Kind of in a way. Um and then when they made the first XO, that guy had all the other guys' memories, supposedly I believe. And then the second one I think like either the second one or third one didn't story part in the book that I, which I hadn't it's like event happened where the, the cataclysm and that's what made all the exos all the exos after a certain point not remember their past iterations mm. they had little fragments of it they never had the whole picture um and that's what happened with Cade so I mean, like either his second iteration or third iteration didn't have the past iterations memories anymore it had fragments of that but it never had the whole picture um, so, like, Cade would write in a book, or whatever, to, like, make them, like, kind of the same, and so he was saying, and if you give, he's like, if there is a sixth or a seventh version of me, which he knows which, honestly, you should make, but if there's a seventh version of me, then use this book, and then he, and then he says, and this is for the seventh person, um, He's like, make sure, like, you're a good guy, otherwise I'll have to come back and kick my ass. Pretty funny. <laughs> Get them all back. I thought I had this technology online. Researching. I use big dumb. Units. Welcome back. Marcus? Sorry, I guess I, I, I keep forgetting how the new part works on this. That's it. I forgot, I was streaming. Hi, random viewer. Hello, viewer. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a good day. You're wasting your time, leave all you have the chance. Okay, bye. God damn it, Daniel. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that, man? Because it's funny. <laughs> no, it's not. You've done it every time. And it succeeds. <laughs> Every time. It, su it succeeds at getting them away <laughs> every time. <laughs> Worth it. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. You're gonna mess up all your stream summaries. <laughs> oh my gosh, you do it anyways. Yeah, but at least I'm being opened about it. 
At least you're not being dishonest. Precisely. Transparency oh. at its finest. Transparency is key. Alright. Okay, I blew up Rome's industrial district again. Nice. But that's like literal. Literal nuke? Um, should be next turn. I should have it unlocked. The thing is, I've well, never actually gotten to the point where I actually build and try delivering it. So actually, getting it in might be a problem because he's got to actually do some air force. That's a fair point. That's a good point to make. Because I assume I load it in the bomber and I have to physically fly it over the target. Is it, I, I've seen the options to load bombs into the bomber, I just never made them. It's so basically there's a nuclear bomb and then there's basically the big ass bomb. I, gotcha. Is it a nuclear bomb and an atom bomb or is it a nuclear bomb and just a re Honestly, I'm gonna have to look into it because I don't remember. It is a good question because I don't remember either. So suppose lasers is a good idea. Right? Lazors. Lazuthlays. Lizard Laz. I wanna play OD or uh Logan. Yeah, I think we do still like need to do the last mission of ODST on Legendary. No, you and me did it. Did we? I don't think I got the achievement for it. Yeah, we did. I'll have to double check that. I think we did. Oh, did we do Halo 3? Uh, I swore we did. If we didn't, we could probably do that sometime. I don't know if I ever played Halo 3 with you guys. I swear, I remember doing Halo 2, and then I swear I did it up to Halo 4. I don't, I don't remember ever uploading it to YouTube, if I ever did. So, that's the big weird part. Okay, nuclear fusion. What is this other bomb? So, I know I have the basic nuke. So that nuclear fusion got me... ...build nuclear device, but what is... Oh, they're both called nuclear fusion. That's confusing. What is this one? Thermonuclear, that's what it is. There's a nuclear device and then a thermonuclear device. But yeah, it was weird. I, I streamed a, another game on my computer yesterday before my OBS decided to take a shit on me. Uh, but it was weird. It had like a high pitched ringing noise. Hmm. I can't figure out if that was part of the game itself. Are you sure that just, just wasn't your face? Oof. Oh, like, yeah, because I had a. I had, I had an actual, like, YouTuber person that was watching. And they were like, like hey, like, like, you're doing really good. Like, they were, but they were, like, they were saying in the, in the chat, they're like, like, what's that noise though? It's like, it's really like, like stressing me out. I'm like, you mean like the, cause like the in the game where you get hit, it's like a weird goofy noise, like a, but kind of like weird, like like a mixture of those two noises. Um, and I was like, oh, they're probably just you know, that's probably just the noise we're talking about. But then like I rewatched the stream just to like see like how it went. Mm -hmm. And it was a high pitched like ringing noise, and I don't know if that was just the game itself. High pitch ringing. But like, do you think like, your like, mic had like bad plugging connection? Maybe. Maybe, but. No, it doesn't make a ringing know. noise. It makes more of a static noise. 
Yeah, but no, it was like a. Oh, do you think maybe noise. it was your fan in the background? I don't know. It's not that loud, hmm. right? It doesn't. It doesn't make that noise, anyways. No, it doesn't make a ringing noise. It does make the wind Weird. noise every now and then. Yeah, that's probably just when I talk. I believe. I'm apparently out of gold. Apparently. Hmm. Got me no gold. I have I two thousand no gold. gold. You should probably send me some. Brother. I don't think I can. Yes, actually, maybe can. we can. Can we actually trade? Yes, we can. Uh, I have to I don't twitch bar. I can't, I can't. Yeah, I don't remember who you are. Oh, uh, uh, that's right. Deal. There you are. Let's see. Make deal. Um. You're Pericles. No. I will give you a little bit of gold. Then you can just give me that. I want all of your cities. Okay, I'm not doing that, Marcus. I need these. <laughs> but you know what? You can take those, because honestly, I don't think I'm using them. I don't even see the deal you're making me, by the way. Well, that's because I was in the middle of setting it up, and he so rudely interrupted me. You only have four cities. Uh, yes. I think I should give you a I have, I have people all around me. I'm literally... Like landlocked between people, and they're all allies, and I don't want to fight anybody for it because that's going to destroy the entire alliance that we have. There's a small bit of land, but I don't oh, want to. Did not go through. My luck. I'm here. I think you accept oh, the there deal. It is. My my cocoa beans for two hundred gold. Yes, I need to make some cookies. Do you think I'm insane? I don't give you cocoa beans. I accept. <laughs> He's going to be like, boy! <laughs> <laughs> it's Just Monopoly as all over AIs. again. <laughs> it's Monopoly, baby. <laughs> God damn it, we need to play that game again. And I know for a fact we can play you it know what? on... I'm going to give you... Online. What happens if I give you the city? Because it has a airport at it. I honestly don't know if you can use that or not. Well, I probably can once you give it to me. I don't. <laughs> Dude, don't ask I don't know what to do with it, bro. It's your city. Yeah, I'm gonna give you Sparta. I don't think. No, don't give me Sparta. Please. Keep your staff. Keep your cities. And I have to start managing the right side map, too. Just keep your yeah, staff. The, keep your cities. You just build some builders I'm, out of it. I said, hopefully, you can build some builders out of it. <laughs> You cannot build builders. Or not uh, builders, yeah. settlers. <laughs> I can dispropose your deal. Just take it. Just shut All up right. and take my money. Fine. Actually, I've been watching the drama. I never watch a show when I'm making that reference. It's a good... I mean, okay. It's a good show, but there's a lot of weird, like things that happen where you're like, oh, like the quality of the show kind of went down a little bit, mostly because Comedy Central bought it, and like, it's not the same. It's a good show, though. I like the show a lot, actually. Oh, for Sparta, so small and tiny. How the fuck did you build it over here, in between Rome? Oh, I sent settlers over there, forgot for like 10 turns, and then founded the city. <laughs> That's what and happens you didn't when get you play this like twice a week. Oh, I killed all the barbarians. Jeez. I bombed them to literal oblivion. <laughs> I mean, I don't have the barbarians to deal with, but like, there's barbarians. Oh, let's see, they're just spamming. Their parents are red and black, uh, aren't they? Yes. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. I believe it's red it's with a black red, icon, gold. and then English is red with a white icon. Uh, I don't know. I yes. Yeah, uh, what city am I Sorry. managing? Kroos? Where's Kroos? Oh, it's that one. What should I build here? I oh, it was sad. I was reading. Uh, on the old uh, Civ game, I was reading the uh, the factions and like the people and stuff, 
And uh, I just want to say that uh, the Mayan people, their leader, he was a complete ass. He was also an idiot, mostly. I mean, I don't want to be rude. But he was also dumb because he used all his gold on building, like, you know, as, like, decorations and stuff. And so they didn't really have a whole lot of wealth. Yeah, they had buildings made out of gold and whatnot, but, you, like, now you just made, now you just wasted all that priceless things well, you had. I don't had. think they really had currency on that side of the world. No, not yet. They didn't technically, they had trades and not, they didn't have currency. They also didn't know what the hell a gun was when they got killed by it. So, you know, there's that. Alexander has sent me warning. I wish, uh, I wish, uh, Master Challenge was a multiplayer. That would be interesting if it was multiplayer. I don't know that game before it's just hard to play. No kidding. Once you get to like, once you get to like 250. The main thing that the dicked me over, I wasn't able to finish the game, was I didn't realize the family lines were important, so I changed it up as cool banners came along, which meant I didn't have a strong line for the <laughs> end game. Oh. So I played through the entire game, and I only built archers, because I would pick everyone off from afar, and then I get to the end game where it's just instant waves of never ending, so I realize, like, okay, even if I never use them, I need to make melee units just for the end game. Okay, let's send you towards rocketry again. Military unit activate on a military unit within zero tile. What? Yeah, that one I don't understand. I still don't understand it. I just sit in there menacingly. How's it going over in Sparta? I don't know the question. I guess I probably should send some builders there and actually improve some of the stuff around there first. Most likely, yes, but it's fine. Yeah, commercial districts, that should at least be giving you some gold. Talk to Montezuma, damn it. Game, fucking stop. Oh, I can't stop. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, who's the man on the land? Wait, yeah. Russia? He's been here the entire time. Is, oh, is that Peter? Yeah, it's Peter. Is that our ally, Peter? Yes. That is him. Oh, cool! I, I, okay, I let's have deploy that bomber. His... Also, here. it's ironic that in this game he wants to have his people fun-loving, but back then he kind of did, but he also didn't. I'm just he, uh, he he like sacrificed a lot of his people. We didn't have a lot of forces and stuff. Mm -hmm. Statue of Zeus. Oh, that's Zeus. right. The project. I need to do the Manhattan project. There we go. Yeah, I need to do that first. Then I get to make the bombs. Yes, I don't want to make any more. I don't want to piss off my team. I think I forgot my ally with this person. I can't send my spy here. Um, is Rome the only person I can't send spy to? I feel like I'll pull him back over the room.
I figured out how to get my great person to do things. Congratulations. I don't know what it did though, but I did it. <sighs> Is it tight? Yeah. Oh. Yes. I barely said store today. About work. Hmm. So today at work, mm -hmm. there was an accident on Bell Road. So what happened was, is two people were driving. I don't know what happened. All I hear is tires screeching and then the scraping of metal. Mm -hmm. I look up from doing my job and I see two cars. One on one side, or, or I didn't notice that there was a second car, but I noticed one car had gone inside of the ditch right by where I work. Mm -hmm. Like, because there was smoke, or not smoke, but there was dust, like, like kicked up. And I was Many like, of us oh, take God, I hope they're okay. Um, my manager was running over there, like, make sure the person's okay and all that. Um, it was really sad, though. Because I didn't realize that there was a second car until I went to go get lunch at Culver's. Mm -hmm. Which is right behind the store I work at. And it was ironic because I look and I'm like, there's another car in a ditch? When the fuck did this one happen? Hmm. But it was, it, was, like, it, it was sad though because like, there was like one, like they were both ended up in the ditch and I'm glad nobody got hurt. But in my head I'm like, how the fuck does this even happen in the first place? Unless you're like texting and driving or whatever. Or like you lost control of your vehicle and you hit the other person. But yeah, they both ended up in the ditch. Which is I which we're lucky because if they had hit the building, they would have gone through into the showroom. Oh yeah. Which is pretty bad, but so I'm glad that happened. I'm glad nobody got seriously injured. Um But it, it was like, in my head. I'm like, it's kind of funny that there was two vehicles when I only saw the one, and I never. Because I, I heard this. There is two of them. <laughs> yeah, and then I looked, and the guys, and the cop came over to Culver. He's like, "Hey, man," I'm talking to one of the employees. Like, he's like, "Hey, can you move your car?" The guy's like, "Oh yeah, sure." I was like, "Oh." After he moved the car, I'm like, "Oh, there's a second vehicle." Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> but yeah, that was what my did story. you get from Culver's, oh, yeah. by the way? Oh, I get their... Not sponsored, but I love them. <laughs> I love them. I love their food. I used, I used to get the pretzel bites, yeah, but I had to stop them. Yeah, I... Exactly. No, I do get the, yep. uh, the cheese foods. Ooh. I used to do those all the time. I had to stop doing those, too. I haven't stopped yet. Mo mostly no just because... Uh, well, I mean, I, I had to stop most because like, I was so used to eating them all the time. That's all? Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, I did that. Sorry, I, I easily lose my... My, uh, my thing... My... <laughs> I lose my train of thought in this game so easily because I just focus on everything else. Oh, I, I forgot. When I send spies to cities, it reveals the city, which means I can also just send a bomber directly to the city. I need this Don't guy to go, go to the Perslov so I can bomb the living hell out of Perslov. <laughs> Let's see, what is it? Three turns. Um, yeah, I guess I'm still set to there. It'll be about equal with the time I actually raised the city, anyways. Apparently, You're everybody else is on. It's gonna. Oh, sorry. Apparently everybody else is going to be on Armor 3. In like, a few minutes, apparently. For it's day, Armor. I mean, I'll tell him, hey, I'm going to be on at Armor 7 is when I'd ideally be on for Armor 3. Because I'm probably going to watch the Christmas movie with my family again. Watch the same movie with just different actors and the same plot. And a mm. different village that's Peter still the same Peter has proposed a deal. I terrible want you to deal. marry Peter. Marry Peter. That's also a terrible deal. Oof. Hey, yo, dude. Well, a lot of I'm looking around. Work, like, delete all these spam messages that I'm Yeah. 
Oh, have destructed more rockets. Oh. I say, I say we just do hour-long episodes of this until we finally eventually break, click or not break the game, finish the break the game. <laughs> until it's we break the, the game. The Xbox. It's called Monopoly, Daniel. Oh, uh, to be honest. I kind of hit the point to where I really don't want to play Monopoly anymore, simply because it just takes too much time. And here I am playing <laughs> this game. <laughs> I know, right? Which takes even longer. This one's at least a lot more interactive. I'm really curious who's watching, because they're still here. I told you to leave nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ban you for watching me. I don't think I can even check to see who's watching. Uh, you can see if they followed you, or if they comment. Hey, whoever's watching Daniel's channel. Yeah, go over to Marcus's channel. Well, that, but also comment and subscribe. For his Let's, let me check the dashboard. I don't see anything the dashboard. here. No, 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 check your phone. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the phone with the stream manager. So yeah, that should say follow. It says it's quiet, too quiet. Understandable, Watch that's my you're... life. Or is it? It's... Is that no, that's a science history. Where's the spaceport here? That's ah, right, it was over oh, no. This fort was there. Is disrupting rocketry actually blowing up? I have to look that up. Probably. Spaceport over there. Oh, there's one. Let's bomb it again. Take that. I need to play Subnautica again. There's a bunch. I, I, like, I'm realizing there's like a shit yeah. ton of games. That I think I it's still in development, forever. but they had like that uh, ice version of it. Below in zero. Yeah, below zero. Yeah, that one looks. Weird, but I don't know if it's a standalone game or it's just a DLC. If it's a standalone game, I might. Look I mean, into it looks it. like it can be a standalone game. It has like even more narrative plot to it than the first game. Yeah, I think it is a standalone game. It, it started out as a DLC and then it became its own. Standalone game, which is fine. I still probably won't care because I hate the, the ocean. The ocean. Yeah, I, no. I like don't. they really delved into the psychology on this one. Like it is actually a lot more terrifying than the other. Like yeah, just mentally. The first one. Like if you really actually one, look right, into fine. like their design philosophies, they they do everything really smart. I give that to help the team full credit. Like for example, the yeah. Leviathans, uh, you can actually outswim and outmaneuver them. It's just the fear tactic of them. Well, they also they also they also uh, respawn, which I uh... yeah, and they also made it to where you can hear it from up to five in-game miles away when they roar. Yeah, yep. Which is great. Love that. Honestly, I'm more scared there. of the ghost leviathan than I am of the actual leviathan, reaper leviathan. Oh, I'm I scared of both of them, but I'm still I don't like the ghost reaper. leviathan. I'm scared of the ghost leviathan because I can see through it. And I can see all its internal organs of where I'm going to be going inside of its body. I guess that's a little that creepy. That terrifies me. And it's also creepy because it it's a lot faster. Um, and it's also a lot bigger. Granted, its mouth doesn't look that scary because its mouth just looks like a flap, while the other one actually has teeth and like a claws and whatever. Um, it's just the size of it is what really gets me uh, terrified. I should say. Mm -hmm. I've noticed I've only really ever beat one game, or 
close to like I've beat like a couple games stories, but like the one game I beat complete was a uh, did uh, not did uh, Dying Light. Minus the DLC, I didn't do the DLC. So I never got around to actually like, finishing Dying Light, if I'm to be honest. I like the game. I like the combat in it. Yeah, it's it's irritating because holy shit, zombies take a beating. But I just like the feeling of being surrounded, getting chased at night. Uh, like the the nighttime mechanic is awesome. I like it. Granted, I never fully explored it when I played the game, mostly just because a you're just gonna die over and over. Um, I felt the campaign was a, the story was a little off, per se. Yeah, um, it was basic, not like necessarily it had good, in the bad way, but it was rather basic. Yeah, because it had a good start, and then halfway through it. Just yeah, kinda, it kind of petered. Well, it petered because they didn't. They never went back to like you're trying to get supplies for this for the tower, and then after that. You just oh, yeah, that's right. They kind of just cliff the dived that plot, didn't they? Yeah, and then like, and they even cliff dived it with like, oh, we have the cure. The guy's like, all right, just bring it back to me. And then that's how the game ends. That's how the base game ends. You're like, oh, okay. And then they have the DLC where you like ignore that part of the game. You go to the city area where there's supposedly people that can walk away from zombies without getting attacked. Um, and then you, the ending of the DLC, which is the reason why I haven't played it yet, is you either turn into a zombie, or you blow everything up with a nuke. Hmm. Basing, basing it off of what uh, Dying Light 2 looks like, which I probably won't buy. Maybe. I mean, I'll probably eventually play it, but I don't know. I don't even know if that's out yet. I wonder which of those endings would be the canon ending. I assume the nuke I think, one. No, it's because it, that would if the nuke one happened, then that means all the zombies got eradicated, and then there would be no point in Dead or Dying Light Two. I'm thinking if the DLC canon is the true ending of the game, which most likely will be because they don't ever go back to the cure part, is uh would probably be uh, what's it called? Uh, well, probably the, the the version where you turn into a zombie, and mm. that's it. Granted, I like the characters, but almost every character that you like in the game gets killed. Yeah. So that was also that was also sucky, having to literally kill like your friends in the game. You're like, like the guy never got a break, which is why I like his character. Like he always persevered, and then. Like, his friends would die, but he'd still, like, this is for the greater good. But then the game's like, oh, by the way, that thing you did for the greater good? We're just gonna ignore that, which made no sense. Oh, yeah. Because, like, he actually has the cure, and he's actually willing to give it to the people to help them, and then the game just ends. That's where they end it off. Which makes it's absolutely in the bad zero. Ending, but... No, it's not a horrible ending. It's like, oh, it's a cliffhanger, and then all of a sudden it's like... Yeah, by the way, that cure never happened, and then you're going to this town to look for people, and then you're going to, uh, you know, die. Die. Either way, you die at the end of the game, which makes no sense. Um, but holy shit. That ending. I gotta replay that. I wanna replay that game on the, on the channel one day. Even though I already have it, like, that's what I wanna do, is, like, I wanna, like, Go back and, and that's play the multiplayer. Games that I so, oh wait, that's right. I can't play because I think I gave you my copy. No, no, no. I bought, I bought mine. I think you gave your copy to Dorian. Oh uh, yeah, I gave him. He never, Dorian. then he never fucking played it because it's weird about games. I think it's just weird. To be fair, we're old. Yeah. Here. I've discovered combined arms. What does that mean? Oh, it means now you can take two units and combine them into one unit. Oh, it's not like a little more you can make an army automatically? No, you have to actually research the thing to do it. Well, why is it so far late in the game? Because... How many uh, more turns do we have? Oh, we're almost done, anyways. Uh, when I can't I tell why. 
Oh, you your Druid's thing. I put mine all the yeah. way. Mine's covering the map on the bottom because I don't really think I need mine's the map still on the top first left, place. top right. I mean, I would probably move it. I was you. Put it center bottom. Just joking. No, that that annoys me. No, it doesn't bother me. Or center right. And all you have to do is press X. And we played this game for a long time. And I still have no clue who the like who's the victor victor's gonna be. Yeah, it might just come down to score victory. I am yep. starting to kick Rome's ass, though. I finally got my bombers. Nice. Oh, yeah, I have Sparta. I forgot. <laughs> Shit. Hello, Sparta. I, I see your plane. Plane's flying. Did you just attack? Nice, nice City bomber, captured. Daniel. Oh, I... That's... So I could liberate it to the founder, which is Perslov, and I honestly don't remember who this is. <laughs> or you can give it to somebody else, no? I'm kind of curious what this liberate thing does. Is Was this like Do a city-state? I think this was a city-state. Do it. Liberate. Nah, I'm gonna keep it. It's too good of a Dominate. city. Dominate. Oof. Or Persilius, whatever that was. Wow, look like how we're, we're like, oh, like, we should probably give it back to this guy, and then we immediately just forget who he was. Oh, wait, you're blue and white. That's who you are. I thought you were yellow. No, honestly, I'll probably just give you that city. Yeah, boy! Actually, wait, I, I need to take the one above it first. I need staging areas so I can keep in. Oh, wait, no, my bar's gonna heal all of that. Never mind. One of the issues with this kind of warfare is you do actually have to plan, like, if you have an air force, you have to actually plan runways to move the unit closer, because you can only stage one air unit per city, and it gets very destructive way of launching a war effort, so you have to actually, like, build airstrips. There's Why a weird oh like... Bermuda Triangle. There's a the the Bermuda Triangle. Oh, you found like a uh, natural wonder. It, it's on the map, but it's not like filled in. Just weird. And it gives you plus ten science, so I wouldn't be bad. I think I'm friends with everyone, so I can't send my spies to. Places because everyone's allied with me. They are just fault. They wanted to be friends with me first. You need to not be friends with them. Why do you want them to? Ally I want with them Rome to bomb them to kill kill over. <laughs> I got the hair for Okay. <laughs> no, but do it to Rome first. Dude, Rome has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cities so far. It's gonna be zero in like 10 to 20 turns. It better be. You don't, I don't even know if you had 20 turns. Oh, you do. But you know what I'm saying. Because we're almost to the point where we're almost to that last 50 turns portion of the game. Yeah, I don't know why you said it so long. Like, my games normally are like up to 500 turns. Well, because I didn't realize. I felt like 250 turns was normal. That's what it was for the old game, wasn't it? I don't 50? know. Look, when I set this game up, yeah, I didn't realize it was... I ended up just winning a sword victory. Yeah. I mean, if once we kill Rome... Hey, so we're at the 60-minute just... mark. Do you want to keep going? Um... We can? I mean... I'm assuming you have to go eat dinner soon anyways, right? No, I can keep going. It's food. I mean, that's... You, you, have, you have dinner... I'm saying you have dinner in the plans for tonight, right? Like, no, I'm going to skip gonna it. Eat eventually. Diet, they fly in. No food, period. Lose weight. Oof. Uh, I, I, I'm just... I'm just... 
saying that, like, you, like, cause you're, like, if you were gonna join us on Arma, you probably wouldn't be there until like seven or so. I'm assuming. I'd probably be there just when you guys are ready. I know Roman and Chris are ready now. They're gonna start soon, I believe. Okay, well, we could swap over now. I just don't know when I'll be eating dinner. That's the issue. I told him I'd probably be free around 7. So, yeah, let's just end it here, then we'll... Okay, let me give you these you join cities first. Yes, let us attack Rom so it's and then... Kurzlov and Kilo. What? Where are you saying that? Uh, it's literally to your right of the city I gave you. Uh, Actually, where? I'll just give you the P1. Yes, give me P. Wait. I don't want to be gross. Where is it? Preslav? I don't think I can even we trade get... it yet. Oh. Must be the next turn. Okay, let me finish setting up all my junk. Um. Na, 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 na. Oh, I finished the Manhattan thing, so Operation Ivy. So I can build a thumer, thermal nuclear device. A thumer. Thumer nuclear a device. Femur. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Now I'll also build a nuclear device. I can build one of each. And I'll drop them on uh, poor Peter, as he deserves it. Peter's our ally, Daniel. Won't be for long. Daniel, he's on our team. You can't do that. Go get Rome. Rome. Long live the king. No, bro. <laughs> oh God, I swear to God, if you do it. I'm also hoping that it'll like drag my camera over there so I can watch you blow him up. I assume it's like the other one where if someone drops a nuke, everyone fucking sees it. <laughs> I would love. I would hope so. God, it'd be so embarrassing not to see that happen on stream. I mean, what time do you work tomorrow? Uh, 7. What time do you get off tomorrow? 2. Okay. Since I have the next 3 days off, would you... Yeah, Thursday like Friday, the, same oh, thing, 7 to 2. Would you like to do the last 50 turns tomorrow? Or something like that. Like, we could just like... Yeah, I periodically could just get them done. So we'll go to right. 200 and then end it there. And then, yep, sounds good. And however long those 50 take, we, we just iron out this game. Then now that we know how to decently play the game, put it on a slightly harder to than easy. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know if we did easy. I think we did like intermediate easy. Like, what was the tiering system again? It was like easy, easy-ish, easier, and then hard, normal, and then normal. -ish, yeah, I think it's the one just like medium. It's weird. It medium. was like there's there's like five or six different versions of easy, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It hey, gold! Me. I'm out of gold again, baby. Woo! No. Eat some fries with. What are you doing? I don't know, man. God, this music's really catchy, but really annoying at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm using my laundry basket as a. The, of the footstool because I'm like the perfect height for it so you're short yes I just want to go to oh I, I want to go to like Comic-Con one day or something with you and Dorian 
Mm. Also, I'm not really this sure if Comic Con is my thing or not, because I just don't like crowds. Like, even before yeah, the COVID I don't... thing. Well, yeah, I don't like crowds either. Although, I did I go to a uh, magic. Uh, I don't know if they call them conventions. I think convention is the right term for it, but there was one in Phoenix last year, and I went to it and got some cards signed by the artiste. There's so many spies here. There's my spies, um, whoever the red one, teal one, and gray ones are. They also have spies in Rome. Like, Rome is just overwhelmed with ally spies at the moment. There's at least five spies in Rome. <laughs> well, Rome deserves it. We should probably get all our men out of there before we blow it up. Nah. Actually, it's a war. Are you gonna give me something? Yeah, I'll try trading it. I need gold, damn it. I gotta talk to... How much negative are you in? A lot. Like, do you have the actual number? It says it. Right next to the gold. Wait. Burger King foot lattice. Maybe not. Why do you not like that? Yes, yeah, so I took Rome. Wait, you took the city of Rome? Yes. It's mine now. Jesus. Now, how do we win the game? You took their capital, didn't you? No, I need to take all the capitals for that victory. I can't. Oh, okay. Because we're ally with everyone. <laughs> That's fine. Just blow up the rest of Rome. Blow up Ravenia or Setia. Yes. Oh, Hey, Vicky's threat actually is a. Uh, I believe in Steve. Oh, right, I blew up the airstrip. I have to repair that before I can use it again. <laughs>
I think it's a tower torpedo range. A torpedo bombing range. I think both of those cities are arranged by one. I have to wait for the airstrip to be repaired. I mean, it was still worth bombing it at the time. I don't have any closer airstrips have that one, but... I guess I can rebase them into the cities themselves for now. It's just annoying operating them that way. Apparently you're in the city of Australia. Nice. Well, barbarians approaching the city of Rome. But where? <laughs> oh, it's all these the builders top. that got ch captured. <laughs> we'll capture them later. The barbarians like, hey, it's take us here so we have your builders. It's housing. That one finally needs amenities, needs food. It's fine. No, it doesn't Next need it. shit. We're still on turn 197. Now we're on 198. Oh yeah, baby. I see what you mean by the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, like, I don't know why it's there. I can't even move my boats anymore. I think it's, it's a scary. natural wonder. Because there are natural wonders on the map, so... They must have made yeah, the Bermuda <laughs> Triangle a natural wonder. Wait, say Bermuda Triangle again? No, I don't want to. Go away. <laughs> uh, it's okay, Dorian. We all have trouble sometimes. Oh, it was so funny, though. Like, Dorian's a cool dude. Sometimes, when he's not... ...seedly yelling at your face. For games. Uh, but, you know, we were playing it. We were having fun. It's cool, you know. It was all good, and then he proceeds to ignore our uh, everything. Everything we try to do, everything we try to build, or like we make a plan, and he goes, "I don't like that plan. I'm not doing it." Uh, but I mean, me and Roman got lucky last night when we were doing the game, or or the other night before last, because we didn't play it last night. Um. I got lit. Well, we got bombarded by a mortar. Arma so, three, you're talking about? Yeah. So Roman's literally dragging me uh, through like, like, like the like uh, we're on a hill and we had parked there and we're getting shot at, and then these guys all we hear is mortar fire like nonstop. Our base is get or our. Uh, our truck gets procedurally bombed by like 15 mortars as Roman's literally dragging me away from the wreckage hmm. as we keep getting attacked. I really like that game's, uh, like that, at least Arm 3's or the Antistasi revive system mechanics. And it's really cool. <laughs> Now, if we played, uh, if you did use the Ace mod, which is cool, but I didn't, I had to turn it off because it was affecting everything else on the mod. Um, but it's cool because if you fire too much, your ears, your ears in the game start ringing. Um, and so I couldn't hear anything. And so, like, it muffled Dorian, Roman, and Chris's voices. Hmm. <laughs> For like a good like hour, or like muffled like in-game voices, I like I was able to hear them just fine.
onwards to turn 199. Yay! You're just conquering Rome. You're not even blowing Rome up. Well, I mean, I am. I want you to nuke Rome. The nukes are still being built. They all nuke Russia. Longer. Um, I can't five nuke turns. Russia. Russia's our ally. Watch me. He's on our. He's on team one. Oops! I pressed the wrong button while flying over your territory. Oh no! You're just like the Black Ops campaign. That's a that's a joke for those who play Black Ops. Hmm. Because you blow you blow up nuke. Holy shit. Ale oh, we should probably blow up Alexandria. I can't because we're allies. Well then we'll fucking make him not allies in a few minutes. Uh, alliance is you have to actually wait for them to run out. You can't just cancel them. Okay, well let me see how much longer we have left on alliances. And that's another city. Want to build. Oh, we're we're friend, we're allied, um, but it's funny though. Uh, we're plus eighteen for ally, plus nine for declared friend, plus eight for allied with a friend, plus seven declared friendship with a friend, plus five we establish a resident embassy there, plus four we fought to joint war together, and plus there'll be open borders. Negative two, we are winning. They fear us because we are winning. I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna fear us because we're winning. Hmm. So it's interesting. I can't actually trade you the cities I conquer. I seem to only be able to trade the cities I founded. Oh, really? you know what? I think I know what it is. Um, I think I have to actually get the, like, city agreements from, like, actually Rome. Let's see if I... I don't want to make peace with them. I can't trade with them at the moment. It's fine. Oh, you can trade me roads. It's alright. I am ready for turn one. For 200. Because each uh, each turn is a year, isn't it? Technically, in the game. I don't know. Nope. That's right. It's going by an eight to get eight hit. Yeah, so it's nineteen seventy-eight. Twenty years before I was born. Oh, well, actually, no, it's not true. Then suddenly you were born. <laughs> it says Marcus Moore. Was born. The world must be nuked. All right. Well, I'm going to end it here because we had 200 turns. Ooh. So bye, bye, bye. Thank you for joining. Have a good time. Probably skip the next stream. And are you going to be streaming oh. Arma? Maybe. I we haven't done it yet. I'm, well, I gotta figure out what's wrong with the thing. Okay, well, I, you can go figure that out before your dinner occurs. Yep. Alright, and then so the one person watching me, if you want to watch Marcus, you can.